Hi there, it's Nursing Geek. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to my One Block Skyblock world where if you can uh, hear the cat meowing in the background, you can probably tell a few things have changed. Look what else has changed. I've been, I've been working with villagers, like, a lot. Um, as a result, I have 10 tons of stone tools which I primarily have been using when I'm putting myself out over the void somewhere. Um, also, I've been breaking replay mod apparently, so rather than show you building all this, I will just give you a little tour. So this is the village area. This fellow can't find his grindstone when I put it in the house he goes into to sleep at night and then doesn't trade with me. So it lives out here now. Um, at least until I get him fully leveled up and get some more things from him. Um, but yeah, we've got quite a few folks. We've got an armorer, we've got a toolsmith, got a couple farmers, a couple of um, librarians. What else is in here? Yeah, one of the librarians is in here. Um, Martha and Walter, the OG pair, are in here. There are upstairs spots. Um, I'm not sure if they're going to stay potentially residential. I obviously haven't done much with the interiors. This one, I actually think the upstairs of this, if I can figure out the logistics, might be where I put my berry farm. My fox-powered berry farm. Um, iron is still an issue. But, honestly, leveling up the armorer has been getting me at least nuggets. Um, as I melt down all the stuff that I have to worm, walk my way through. Uh, the... Yeah, the armor and now the weaponsmith, right. Um, also expanded the tree farm a little bit so we could have some acacia, which I used in the in the village. Uh, at the moment, I don't have any acacia planted because I've been using mostly spruce and jungle, and I was having sapling issues, so I need to make sure they're far enough apart from each other. You're not coming this way with me. Um, we, we did have an, an incident with harvesting the bamboo. There, there used to be a parrot sitting here. Um, here lies Pete the parrot, gone before his time. Uh, so I did move this over. Um, I still don't entirely know what I want this to look like. So I haven't really done much else over here. Uh, oh, but you finally decided to teleport to me, huh? Um, down here, in order to do that transfer, I wanted to make sure I didn't lose any dirt. So I had to slabify underneath the dirt that was here. And while I was at it, I slabified all the way out here so that when I do decide to really do up the jungle area, I don't... Uh, spleef myself or the animals. Um, and then I realized, you know what else I should do? I should also have some more fences there, actually. Um, but slabify over here under the farms. Uh, because I was getting a little nervous that when I'm just farming away, I might actually mine one of the uh, blocks of farmland and because that breaks more easily than dirt plain dirt um, so yeah uh, I tried to also forestall some of the drippy drips I really thought I had made that go away but somehow no But yeah, so that's where we're at. Um, one of today's decisions is use of books. So I have some Unbreaking Threes. 
and fortune. And I thought I had at least one mending. Huh. Okay, I need to go buy a mending book. Because the question is, do I put fortune on this pick or mending on this chest plate? The rest of the armor I'm not as worried about because the rest of the armor has the default um, the default stuff that I got when I traded for it. The chest plate does not. Because the chest plate had thorns and I didn't want to risk harming these guys and angering these guys. So, yeah. Um, Martha, you've got mending, right? Where'd you go? Yes, and how much do you want? You want 38. Have I got it? Not even a little. Okay. So I, I've been putting emeralds in with the uh, watermelons. But um, clearly there's none there right now. Let's do a little farming and trading and uh, then I'll at least have a book to make that decision about. Okay, so I've got them both now. I've got Mending and Fortune 3. So the question is, do we do the chest plate or the pickaxe? Not because I don't have enough levels, I do, because I don't know if this is going to break after one. Um, yeah, and I don't, I don't have the ability to make another one. So, which is more important? I, I'm thinking I might go with fortune, even though I just spent all that time getting mending again. Because even though this isn't the default trade enchantment, I do have other I do have other books that I can put if I need to replace this, um, and also I can just grind the thorns off and not re-enchant it if I don't have a way to re-enchant it. So yeah, that that's decided me. We're doing fortune on the pickaxe. And why, why is it getting F4? Oh, I don't know if I wanted to have efficiency. Well, yeah, we'll take it. We'll put the mending aside for later. But wait, wait, I didn't have to make that decision because that didn't break. So, still good. Okay. I could potentially start putting unbreaking on armor. I do already have, I don't have unbreaking on this, which is actually more valuable than the armor because I can trade for more armor. I cannot trade for that. So while mending is good, mending and unbreaking is better. It's still going, okay. I'm afraid to even pick it up to see if tooltips will tell me how much durability it has left because I'm not sure if it loses any when you just place it. I know it does if you drop it, um, but I don't know if it does when you place it. Um, yeah. But that's one of the challenges of Skyblock is your limited resources and your limited ways to get resources. Um, I'm still kind of hoping that when I go back to breaking the block, which I'm going to do probably as soon as I sleep off the impending night, even though it's only early afternoon, it, it'll be before I know it. Um, will you now, well, actually I've got to leave. You are a pain in the neck. But really, it's not your fault. It is the programmer's fault. And 
and uh, and it's my fault because I know that you end up glitching through a wall over here and I still have my bed here. So how about I move my bed like, I don't know, here for now. I need to redesign this mess somehow anyway. Um, but yeah, having... Yes, it's nice getting the drops. I'm not sure I'm ever going to want jump boosts, so I don't know what I'm going to use all these for. Don't even know that I'm going to make use of the feathers now that I have access to unlimited arrows. Um, the occasional string is nice because I don't get much of it out of the mob farm. The trapdoors definitely are causing the uh, all the mobs to get stuck, but particularly the spiders. Um, so this is why you do a 3x3 three three shoot instead of a 2x2, two two, except then I don't know how I would block it off. Yeah, so that's fun. Um, anyway, that's a problem for another Skyblog series. Um, but I do like having the ability to get things from the cat, so I do... Um, unset the cat to sleep, but then the cat has been glitching through the wall and ending up who knows where and teleporting to me randomly um, when I've stopped looking for you. Yes, you. Mm -hmm. I may have time to fish a little bit. I do like to do at least a little fishing every day, too. Um, partly just because... Just because I enjoy this mechanic, and um, partly to have fish to tame any further cats that show up, um, and partly because we do actually have a fisherman now that I can trade with, and partly because I occasionally get useful books, although a lot of them are piercing. I, I, I don't even know that I would bother with a crossbow, much less enchanted, but okay. Well, no gift this morning, but also no glitching through the wall, so I'll take it. Alright. Let's get back to this block. You know what? I have not even just a shield, but I think I have multiple shields now. From leveling people up, don't I? Somewhere. This is the other place that random enchantment stuff, uh, uh, random trading stuff has ended up. So yeah, there we go. I should get the vanilla tweak if I... I don't know if vanilla tweaks was a thing for 1.16. I think it was. Um, but to lower the shield, because I think that's one of the reasons I don't make good use of it. But, um... That's not what I wanted to do. But let's get back to breaking the block. Four of you now? Odd chest. Why would I want a Ravager spawn egg? In what world is that a thing that I would want? I'll take the orchids and the brown dye, but oh my word, really? Oh, you know what? I should also grab the chest. That's interesting. This is why I didn't want efficiency.
Hmm. You have horn coral block, which is tempting. You have glowstone, which is even more tempting. No don't particularly need ice at the moment. But if I... I think I can only get one. I'm probably better off waiting till I can get a cleric and just leveling them up. Sugarcane, though. Oh, oh, that I will pay for. As, how much are you going to give me? You'll give me eight? I'll take it. Thank you. And now you can wander around and you have a name, so you're probably not going anywhere, but you know, you can join Quincy. Go ahead, go, go wander around. I might just put it up here because this area is not really getting used at all. Um, I can probably just do something with these. And if at some point I have the necessary materials to make this um, into a tango module. That should work. In the meantime, it looks ugly, but that's all right. We're not primarily going for the aesthetic here. Okay. Where's the sun? High noon. Uh, Carl, Quincy's down over that way somewhere. If you want to hang out, I think, unless he has ultimately despawned. I don't know. He has been over here for, you know, days. I guess he may have despawned, so I guess Carl probably will at some point too. Yeah. Alright. I'm rethinking my life choices around making those areas lower slabs Okay, benevolent gift. Got some cobwebs. I wonder if that means we are heading into a mine shaft. Although, really, this is kind of the the mine shaft level, right? It's it's the Badlands, so interesting. Okay, well, let's gather this up. Let it count down. The countdown seems to get longer each time. Yeah, it's 90 seconds. Let's put some stuff away. How are we doing on the countdown here? I was really hoping to get lava, but maybe this next level will give us a way to make cobble because I'm getting nervous about just how flammable all of this is. So, ha! And this is why. Oh my. How are we in phase seven already? On, on the flip side, some people finish their entire series in half the number of episodes I've done so far because they do more editing. So maybe that's not ridiculous. But um, also, yeah, huh. 
exactly, Carl. I, I, I gotta... I gotta do something about this. Um, we're, we're too flammable. I need to protect the barn. I need to protect... I need to make this larger so that if a gas spawns, it actually stays contained. Um, yeah. Uh-huh. That's terrifying. Uh-huh. Well, I'm glad you agree, Carl. Uh, so I guess that's where we're stopping for now while I figure out how I make... Because one of the first things is going to show up, I know it, is going to be blazes. So we're going to have to use what we've got here to deflammabilize the area. And that's going to be very interesting. And ugly. There's no way I'm going to make this look pretty, is there? Darn it. I mean, in general, it's just not looking pretty anyway. But I've been doing a little better. I mean, these houses, I sort of went for a townhouse look. Uh, did probably not the greatest job on the roofs. But, especially here. <laughs> um... I kind of like how they came out. I think now that I have a little more variation in the terracotta and the sandstones, I can maybe make them look a little better. But I don't think they're terrible. The rest of this looks like it's just... Uh, it is. It is absolute patchwork. But it is what it is. While I wait for it to be officially night and I can go to sleep, I'm just going to say thank you very much for clicking on this video to watch. I very much appreciate you. And um, until next time, I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope I figure out how to make this place a little less flammable. Bye!